Bigby. A man who had only one bout last year, that's uh, the Black Shorts. Rossi making his first defense of the title that he won last year. Rossi's 27, three years older than the British fighter. Hannigan unbeaten in 20 bouts in his professional career. Another boxer from the successful Terry Lawless stable. He boxed once only last year, simply because in that bout uh, against Roberto Mendez of the USA, uh, he was injured, he got a, a badly cut eye, and after that he broke the thumb on his right hand, uh, which hampered him somewhat and kept him out of the ring for most of uh, the latter part of last year. Before that, he'd been going really strong, winning the British title uh, in 1983 and then defending it successfully. But he's got a tough task here. Uh, boxing in Italy for British fighters is never easy. And Rossi has been beaten only once in his career, and that was on a cut. So two pretty much in-form fighters here. Although Hannigan might be suffering from a little bit of ring rust, not having been active in the last 12 months very much. Rossi not really recognises a big puncher, but a useful boxer, good defensively. Scheduled for 12 rounds, as all the European uh, title fights are nowadays. Only got a boxer with good hand speed, good style, moves well. And this year sporting a new style haircut, short back sides and top it seems. <laughs> Crowds in Italy always very, very partisan. <laughs> of this opening round and Rossi much encouraged by the home crowd Hannigan <laughs> just about got the right hand in there but uh, Rossi didn't take the full weight of the punch so a fairly even first three minutes uh, which might just have gone to the Italian, but uh, Hannigan taking a good look at him there. Rossi with a slight mark on his forehead after that opening exchange. So the 24-year-old Hannigan all set for round two. He's had most of his contests in London although he did box in the United States in 1983 and won there. But on that occasion, had to get off the canvas to do so. And the question mark about Hannigan is, has he got a good chin? Occasionally, when the going gets really rough, he does get wobbled. But he's got good attacking skills and can hit himself. is presenting a fairly square on target to Hunnigan. But as you see, the Italian keeps his guard really high, in contrast to Hunnigan, who hangs fairly loose and flicks out the punches fast. Standing British welterweights have won this title over the last few years, like Colin Jones, who fights soon for the world title again, and Dave Boyd Green held it, and John H. Stracy, of course, held it, and all those box for world titles. Stracy, the only one to uh, win. And Hannigan certainly has got his sights on going all the way to a world title bid one of these days. He's 24 now. Prima 
And Hannigan's throwing the right hand, or beginning to, and it was the right hand that was injured last year. And the crowd going wild for any attack that Rossi mounts, even uh, when he's not too successful with it, as then the punches weren't really going home on the target area. But that one did. That right hand seemed to wobble Hannigan there. Round two, scheduled for 12. And that's the question mark about Hannigan. How good is he when the going gets rough? And again, he tries to get his own right hand through. Well, I think so far you'd have to give this round to the Italian. Slightly the better work and one or two crisp punches have landed home, especially that right hand. And Hannigan not really jabbing very crisply at this time. The 27-year-old champion making his first defence, going pretty well. Hannigan up on his feet early in preparation for round three. trying to find a way through with that jab. Well, that right hand did get home. And that's about the first time he's been successful with it, Hannigan. But that got home. What a good right hand punch that was, and Rossi is in trouble. Through the ropes. And he's going to struggle to beat that sort of punch. And it looks as though he won't make it. The right-hand punch gets through. And he's out. And Hunnigan adds the European welterweight crown to his British championship. What an upset that is for Rossi, making his first defence. But a great win for Hunnigan. And the lawless camp absolutely delighted with that. Here's the punch again. It came from a long way back, but Rossi just couldn't get out of the way in time. So Hannigan, with the big punch, adds the European crown to his British title.